G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been on a bit of a matchbox kick lately and um, I found a few, a couple of five packs, but one that I really have been looking for is the station wagons. And this is like a fairly new pack. Um, if you have a look up there, it's 2023. These are a bugger of a thing to try and get on the camera. But um, yeah, we're going to crack this open and um, have a look because I just love wagons. Uh, I think in my life, I've probably owned 80% wagons compared to sedans. And uh, it's just a thing. My first car ever was a wagon. My second car was a wagon. I own a wagon now, and there have been a lot of wagons in between. I just love them. I'm a wagon man. So we'll crack those open and see if my camera can focus on anything and actually give you a video. All right, first up, what have we got? We have an Audi. Hang on, just let me get it into focus first. Well, that took some time. So <laughs> it was just, yeah, I had to cut that out because I started swearing so much. So here we have uh, a 2006 release, 2017 again, um, Audi RS6 Avant, 2004 model. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. If I got a Ford and Audi, I'd grab one. RS6, look at that post in the middle of the back of it. Doesn't that ruin it for you? Um, nice car, though. It's a dull metallic paintwork, which is rather unusual. I like the wheels on this. It's an unusual. It's almost... It almost looks like it's a wrap, if you know what I mean. Cool car, like that. Put that over there, get it out of the way. Hopefully my thing will keep focusing. What have we got here? We've got a Ford Fairline, 1964. This is a 2017 release. That is cool. That is cool. Again, you've got a post in the middle of the back. I suppose you're going to get that with wagons, aren't you? That's nice. I could see myself cruising in something like that. Need some details done. Cream interior. It's like it could also do with some of that, uh, like the stainless steel on the side sort of chromed up. That's cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next, we've got something I know nothing about, which is a Cadillac. CTS 2010. 2020 release. It looks cool. Like it's a wagon. Things like they don't make wagons. It's just about gone out because everyone buys these bloody SUVs. I'd rather have a wagon any day. It sort of reminds me side on of a Holden Commodore. Guys in Australia will know what I mean, but yeah, it sort of looks sideways like a Holden Commodore. That's cool. Next one, another old one which I like. <coughs> We've got. Chevy Wagon 68. This was released in 2015. Wild West Tours. And on the back there it says, see the something Wild West. Hang on. No, nah, I can't read that. Where's my glasses? Get me glasses. My Coke bottles. And it says, see the Grand Wild West with Texas Gene. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's awesome. Unusual colour. Purple. 
Um, yeah, it needs some details down on the back on the top there, doesn't it? It doesn't really fit that well, but man, I remember what the uh, the Fords with those big tail fins and and tail lights like that, massive um, bonnets on, with the gold hubcaps. That's cool. That's cool. And last but not least is the oh, that's shiny Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser, 1971, released in 2009, and then again in 2017. It's a woody sort of. I oh, I think that's bloody awesome. Look, it's almost like a what do you call that? It's a lifted opera roof type deal. Got the dogs in the back. Needs more details done. It's got a big post, but the dogs, you know, make up for the post. Three spokes. Nice colour. These are cars up here. I love cars like that. I wonder what sort of dogs they are. They look like. I don't know. Nice interior. Good details. Big sunroof. That's cool. So, yeah, that's a, um, the Hot Wheels 5-pack wagon edition. Been looking at it for ages and finally found it. And, um, most happy. So that's cool. I like it. All right. That's all for now. Uh-huh.